And of course with film, it has its own aesthetics, quite different from written ethnography where you know, you don't want one talking head after another. You know, as I got into the process, I realized, well, I have all these wonderful interviews, but I can't just have one interview after another. That's going to be very boring to look at visually. And so then I had to go back and, and get what's called B-roll, which is, you know, just, you know, scenes that you could intersperse with the interview, scenes of Havana, buildings, people on the street, you know, the malecon, and kind of create something that's aesthetically pleasing that you can look at mm -hmm. and that also informs you, you know, which mm -hmm. is what I think a documentary should do. I mean, I try to provide information that people might want to have about this community mm -hmm. in Cuba and, and the, the, the Jewish Cuban community as it reformed itself in the United States. So there was all this information that right. I wanted to share with people, but at the same time, it couldn't be a lecture right. because then it's not a film. Right. You know what I mean? It, it could, I mean, it wasn't going to be me essentially giving a lecture about the Jews of Cuba. I had to, you know, learn about the, the particular demands of making a film, its particular aesthetic and intellectual demands. Uh, different, it's a different communicative form mm -hmm. than writing.